every dragon. The, the Lord Jesus. should cause us to see the opening yes, that oh uh, John the Baptist yes, saw oh over God. the Lord. Every hey. brass ceiling should crack. Every heart ceiling should crack. And there should be open heavens over the service, over the prayer, over the music, over the ministration. Lift up your voice and let us pray for open heavens over the service. Open heavens, open heavens, open heavens, open heavens, open heavens. Open heavens, open heavens, open heavens. Let every heart sail and crack. Let every heart sky crack. Let every heart sail and crack. And let every iron ground be broken. Open heavens, Papa. And let the ground be fallow for us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open heavens, open heavens. Open heavens in every area of our life. Open heavens in every area of the service. Concerning the music. Concerning the ministration. Open heaven. Open heaven. Open heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open heavens to Lord. Open heavens to Lord. And now, Babebe Yamaha in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us pray for special grace to carry Osofo through the vision for the year 2022. Special grace. According to um, is it uh, The word says that in 2 Peter 1 and 2, grace and peace be multiplied unto you Amen. through the knowledge of God Amen. and of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Today is Osofu's day. Jesus we are saying that grace, grace and, peace and peace be multiplied in the name unto of him. Jesus. Lift Amen. up your voice. Simple prayer to Come me. One Declare one that grace and yes, peace God, be multiplied unto Osofu. Grace and peace be multiplied Grace and peace concerning any business. Grace and peace concerning his wife. Grace and peace. The mama of the house. Grace and peace concerning his children. Grace and peace be multiplied unto them. Grace and peace be multiplied unto them in every way concerning his social life. Oh, grace and peace. Grace and peace. Grace and peace be multiplied unto him. In the name of Jesus, grace and peace be multiplied in every way. Grace and peace be multiplied unto us all. Grace and peace be multiplied unto our headmaster. Grace and peace. Grace and peace. Go na bebe ya mahana sana mama. Kete ya mahana saya. For us all for any family. Grace and peace concerning his wife. Grace and peace. All the works of his hands shall be grace and peace. All the works of his hands shall be grace. We are going to pray, continuing for our suffering and his family. We pray that God shall hear the cry of his heart and shall answer them. Amen. 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 God shall hear the cry of his heart and shall answer each and every one of them. Psalm 65 verse 2, it says, 
Oh, thou that hearest prayer, mm. unto thee shall all flesh come. Oh, thou that hearest prayer, unto thee oh, shall all suffer come. Yes, yes. Unto thee shall his children come. Amen. Unto thee shall his wife come. Amen. And he shall hear that prayer. Lift up your voice and say unto the Lord, Oh, every prayer of the suffer is unto thee. Every prayer of the suffer is unto thee. And he will answer. And he will answer. And he will answer. Oh, thou that hearest prayer. Unto thee shall all flesh come. Unto thee shall all suffer come. For answered prayer, for result. Bo 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 bo. For answer, for answer, for answer. Be 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 be. I'm a gonna say it. Bo da ba 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 ba. Kende I'm a gonna say it. Bo da ba 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 ba. Kende I'm a gonna say it. Answer him when he goes up on his feet. Answer him when he stands in warfare. Answer him when he makes his declaration. Answer him. Because you are a God that answers prayer. Hey, unto thee shall all flesh come. Unto thee shall all suffer come. Oh, thou that hearest prayer. Hey, unto thee shall we come. Answer all suffer. Answer his wife. Answer his children. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus we also pray that God would lift up every burden upon him. We pray that God will lighten the burden over his heart. Mm, mm. And we pray that the Lord will grant him a large heart. Now, Jesus. for this, we are going to say that by uh, Psalm 65, verse 5, by terrible things in righteousness, will thou answer us, O God Amen. of our salvation. Who are the confidence of all the ends of the earth. And we are also going to use this verse. That we should share in one another's burdens. And therefore we pray that every burden of his heart believe. He has a lot thinking of us. He has a lot thinking of the church. He has a lot. And therefore we should invest in him in prayer. And we should share in that burden. Because the Bible says that strike the sheep and the, the Drive the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. So really, when you are praying for Osofo, you are actually praying for yourself. Therefore, let us lift it. Every burden of us, let's lift it. Every burden, every burden, every burden, every burden, every burden, every burden, every burden of us to be lifted. Grant him a large heart. Grant him a large heart. Grant our suffer a large heart. Grant him a large heart. Grant him a large heart. Bonga ba ba ba, kete ya makana saya. Grant him a large heart, grant him a large heart. Lift every burden of his. In the name of my Lord Jesus, lift every burden of the set man of the house. Lift it, lift it, lift it. Share in that burden. Pray into his burden. Lift it, let it lift, let it lift. Lift up prayer. Partake in what he partakes in. Lift up your voice for the set man of the house. Bo 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 be be ya makana. According to the way, we are to carry each other's burdens. Hey, jump into the gap and carry the burden over him. Share his burden by lifting him up in prayer. Every burden be lifted. Every burden be lifted. Oh, give him strength. A large heart to carry us. A large heart to carry the vision. In the mighty name of Jesus. A large heart to carry. In Jesus, Amen and amen. One very special topic which we shall pray into and which um, we may have to end with is that we pray that God will grant us up with the grace to let go of every disappointment, betrayal, and denials of men. According to um, uh, Genesis 50 verses 20, that was Joseph's experience. He said, to his brothers, 
when they came to him and when he was in triumph. But as for you, you thought evil against me. But God meant God. it unto good oh to bring to pass, as it is this day, to save much people alive. Let us pray that every disappointment meant for evil, every challenge every meant for evil, every betrayal meant for evil, every denial meant for evil, will turn to good, will turn to his good, will turn to good for him and his family. Oh, let's pray. Hey, but as for you, you meant it for evil. As for you, you meant it for harm. As for you, you meant it for evil. But God meant it for good. Every denial, every betrayal, every disappointment, of man that they meant for evil, let it turn into good. Let it turn into good. Let it turn into good. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every disappointment, let it turn into good. Every denial, let it turn into good. Every betrayal, let it turn into good. Let it turn into gold. Let it turn into gold. Every betrayal, every denial, every disappointment. For his good, for his good, for his good, for his good, and the good of his family. Even in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, 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 for his good. Yes, for his good. Yes, for his good. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I think I have a few minutes more. I can chip in one topic. Now, it says that we declare a season of strength and laughter for Osofo. Amen. A season of strength and laughter for Osofo. Amen. Amen. Let us pray that the lines will fall to Osofo in pleasant places. In the name Amen. of Jesus. The lines will fall to him ah. in pleasant places. Amen. As God puts laughter in his mouth. In the name of Jesus. Everything that has turned for evil will turn for good. In Amen. Jesus' because name. Because the Lord will cause his lines to fall upon him in pleasant places. In let us pray. Jesus. Let us pray for Jesus. And for his family. That the night was all Every issue shall fall for him in pleasant places. Every challenge shall fall for him in pleasant places. But I am a baba, get the Amazon of Santa Baba. Show the Baba, get the Amazon of Santa Baba. Affliction shall not come twice. Affliction shall not come twice. O God, the Amakanasaya, the Amakanasaya. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to add this briefly. That Psalm 16, verse 6. The lines are falling unto me in pleasant places, and not only that. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. Ah. Osofo and his family shall have a goodly heritage. Amen. They Jesus. shall have a goodly inheritance. Amen. Affliction shall not come twice to his Lord. Let us pray that Amen. the Lord will cause them to have a goodly heritage. Cause the light for him to fall in better places. Fill his mouth with laughter in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Let's uh, give the Lord a clap offering. Give the Lord a shout offering. Hey! Thank you for praying for me this today. It's been quite a fearful day. Thank you for praying for me. God bless you. And every prayer that you lifted for me, may God send it back to you. Good measure, press down, shake it together. Every request you made on my behalf, may God extend to you the double in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Second, in First Samuel chapter 2, verse 1. No, Second Samuel, I'm, I'm sorry. Second Samuel chapter 2, verse 1. We're still on the request of, of David, the answer of God. The request of David and the answer of God. And the peculiarities that surround the answer of God. And the Bible says, and it came to pass after this, that David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up into any of the cities of Judah? And the Lord said unto him, Go up. And David said, Whither shall I go? And he said unto Hebron. Now, we have already treated. David asked the question. And David asked the question. He said, Shall I arise? And God said, Arise. Shall I ascend? And God said, Ascend. Shall I climb? God said, Climb. Shall I, shall I excel? God said, Excel. Shall I grow? God said, Grow. Shall I increase? God said, Increase. Shall I mount up? God said, Mount up. Shall I recover? God said, Recover. Shall I shoot forth? God says, shoot forth. Shall I spring up? God says, spring up. In the name of Jesus, that same prophetic word is also for you. This year, thou shalt arise. This year, thou shalt mount up. This year, yeah, thou shalt climb. This year, thou shalt ascend. This year, sh thou shalt shoot up. Ah. This year, thou shalt, hey. thou shalt spring forth. Hey, in the name of Jesus. In, name of in Jesus. your life, in your business, in hey. your marriage, in hey. your prosperity, hey. in your finance, ah. there shall hey. be a shooting. Hey. It is already happening. Somebody Make some noise and let the devil know that it is already happening. Hey, 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 hey. Some of us want to see manifestation before we, 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 we walk into it or before we, we get excited. Before Now God, when, when God said to David, mount up, there was nothing under the wings of David to mount up. But the spoken word of God is powerful enough and that's all we need. That's all we that's all yeah. we need. Yeah. That's all we need. Hallelujah. Yeah. So that same word to David, this is God's reply. And I taught you that sometimes God takes your own words that you throw at him uh -huh. and he also throws it at you. Uh -huh. But when you throw it at him, God, you throw it with petition. You, 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 you threw it with begging. You threw it with asking. But God throws you back to you uh, uh, with empowerment and with answers and with solution. And so when David said, shall I go up? God should have said, just go. But God added, go up. That means what you are asking for ah. and what you are requesting, hey. I am giving it to you. Uh -huh. But this time I am returning your word back to you. Amen. Full of grace, full of answers. Yeah. And full of capabilities hey. in the name of Jesus. Name so of tell Jesus. somebody, I'm going up. I am going up. It means I arise. I, arise. I ascend. I ascend. Am I talking to people? I, I ascend. I ascend. I climb up. I climb up. I shoot forth. I shoot forth. I spring up. I spring up. I mount up. I mount up. In the name of, Jesus. Name of Jesus. I shall excel. This is my year of establishment. Give the Lord a clap, our friend. Speak in tongues, bless the name of the Lord. Open your mouth, speak in tongues, bless the name of the Lord. Come on, if you know what is coming for us, it is Jesus.
and in the dealings of God in our lives. That's some specificity that we need to have at the back of our mind. When David asked the question, and God said, mount up, ascend, arise, climb, excel, shoot forth, spring up, go. When, when God made that statement, and I thought just with that word, David is going to walk away. And just walk away into what God has said. But then David was very specific. He said, which of the cities of Judah? Which of the cities of Judah? Which of the cities of praise? Which of the cities should I go to? And then when he asked that question, I said, but what's wrong with you, David? The question you have asked, you asked, God said, go. He said, you won't arise. He said, arise. He said, you want to climb. He said, climb. Then now you're asking, which of the cities of Judah? Then I realized that in God's dealings in our lives, sometimes there's geography. Sometimes God brings us to places of geography. Yes, he had to be born. Somebody had to be born in Bethlehem. And then he walked through Galilee. And then he goes to Jerusalem. Then he's tried in Jerusalem. Then he goes to Golgotha. And then he is buried. And then finally he leaves. And then ascends into the heavenlies. So there is a geography in the dealings of God in our lives. God made Elijah, brought Elisha to, to uh, Gilgal and then to, to Bethel and then to Jericho and then to Jordan. And all those places are pregnant with revelation for us. So when God said to David, when David said, where should I go? That means David, no, I know there are different cities in, 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 in Judah and I can easily go there. That's where I am from. I am from the tribe of Judah. So I can go back to my country. So it is like, shall I go to La? And God says, go to La. And then I ask him, where exactly? Should I go to Mati? Should I go to Kana? Should I go to Kowe? Should I go to Abese? Should I go to Abafu? So I go to Agbawe, so I go to Jase, so I go to Kana, and so I go to Leshi. Hallelujah. And then God begins to be specific and says, now you go to Hebron. I said there is a geography in our beginnings, and there's a geography in our mid-years, and there's a, in the midst of the years, and there's a geography at our end. Hallelujah. I know that at the geography of my years, at the, geogra at the, at the geography of my ending, it's going to be always glorious. That is why I say, My strength, thy grace, my root, thy way, my end, thy glory. Sometimes there are certain geographies that God brings us to. He brings us to Jabok. And at Jabok, he wants to wrestle some things out of us and change the way we walk, just like he met Jacob at Jabok. Then there's also a place that God brings, uh, uh, Joseph comes, uh, Jacob comes to, and he doesn't even understand what is going on. And then all of a sudden, there's, uh, the, well, the Bible says he's lying there, and then the heavens are open. And then he woke up and said, this must surely be the house of God. And God was here and he didn't know it. And so he gave the name to that place. Sometimes God gives you the luxury of naming your geography, but there are times that God also doesn't give you the, the luxury of naming your geography. He didn't give Ezekiel the luxury of, of naming his geography in the valley of dry bones. Hallelujah. He didn't give Jesus the, the, the luxury of naming his geography in Gethsemane at the, place where, at the place where the oil is pressed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. But we have come to a place that has been defined. Tell somebody I have come to Hebron. You are saying hey, we need to close because you don't know what is coming to you. Say, I have come to Hebron. We have come to the place. Now, David asked the question there was Bethlehem, there were other places in, in Judah. He said, The cities of Judah. So, there were other cities in Judah, but God was specific and said, Go to Hebron. That means you're going to climb at Hebron, you're going to arise at Hebron, you're going to arise. There is a place. You see, people don't know this. There's a place that will take you down. David said the valley of a shadow of death. Ezekiel said the, 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 uh, the valley of dry bones. There's a place that will take you down. 
Like Golgotha, it will take you down. Like Calvary, it will take you down. But there is also a place that God brings you, and that place is very significant for you. There is a Jordan. God is going to bring you to that Jordan where you are going to cross into the promised land. There is also, there's also Egypt where God takes you out of Egypt, and then there's a wilderness. So there's always a geography. So God was specific and said, go to Hebron. What is there in Hebron? What is there in Hebron that is going to be a platform for, uh, for uh, uh, David to arise? What is there in Hebron that is going to be a platform for David to climb up? What is, what is there in Hebron that uh, David needs in order for him to mount up? What is there in Hebron? What is so significant in Hebron? And I came to tell you something. In, in, in the Bible, Hebron, the place Hebron, the place Hebron, the first time I hear of Hebron, that place was the place where Abraham came to and called upon the name of the Lord. Oh, Hebron was a place of prayer. Hebron was a place of make or break. I am going to pray until God shows up. I am going to pray until, until something happens in the name of Jesus. So here right now, in this our 21 days, we are at Hebron. We are praying until something happens. Yeah. We have come to a place of prayer. Yeah, yeah, we have yeah. come to a place of prayer yeah, where yeah, God yeah, doesn't yeah, only hear yeah. our prayer, but yeah, God also yeah, answers yeah, prayer. Yeah. Lift up prayer wherever yeah, you are. Yeah, Say, Lord, yeah, I have come yeah, to Hebron. Yeah, and then you see what I'm talking about. Read that place, Genesis chapter 13. And Abraham went up out of Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he had, lot with him, into the south, too. And Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. And he went on his journey from the south, even to Bethel, unto the place where his tent had been, at the beginning, between Bethel and High. And move on. And unto the place of the altar we had made there, at the first, and there Abraham called on the name of the Lord. Read on. Lot also went with, which went with Abraham had flocks and herds and tents. Yes, and the land was not able to bear them 
that they might dwell together, for their substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. And the Bible says there was Bethel, it was between Bethel and High. And so tell somebody, High. <laughs> and there was a strife between the headmen of, of Abram's cattle and the headmen of Lot's cattle. And the Canaanites and the Perizzites dwelt then in the land. Read on and let's see. And Abraham said unto the Lord, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my headmen and thy headmen, for we be brethren. Read on. Uh, is not the whole land before thee. Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. If thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if thou depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. Go on, and then you see something. Uh, and Lot lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere. Before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as thou comest unto Zohar. Now, then Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east. They separated themselves one from the other, right, and dwelled in the land of Canaan. Lot dwelled in the cities. Abraham dwelled in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelled in the cities of the plain and pitched his tent towards Sodom. Read on. The men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. Read on. There's something very, very powerful there. Now, and the Lord said unto Abraham, after that Lot was separated from me, lift up now thine eyes and look from the place where thou art northward and southward and eastward and westward. Read. For all the land without seers to thee will I give it and to thy seed forever. Right. Now make thy seed as the dust of the earth and God and there's a place where exactly for God mentioned the name this is Hebron. Hallelujah. I think it is also in uh -huh. Then Abraham removed his tent and came and dwelt in the plain of Mamre which is in Hebron and built there an altar unto the Lord. So you get it. And Abraham moved, removed his tent, and came and dwelt in the plain of Mamre, which is in Hebron, and built there an altar. Abraham moved from the place of strife. Abraham moved from the place of controversy. Abraham moved from the place of quarrel. Abraham moved from the place of litigation. And the Bible said he came and removed. You see, God said, now, nah, look east, look west. I'm going to give you a place. And where will Abraham go to? He dwelt in the plain. And in the plain, where exactly was he? He was at Hebron. And it was an, it, it was at Hebron that he built an altar unto the Lord. So Abraham began to lift intercession ah, yeah, hey, in yeah, Hebron. Yeah, yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Hebron is a covenant of prayer. Hebron is a covenant of power. Jesus. Hebron is a place where when you are separated from the Lord, hey. when you are separated from the Lordish anointing, now you have come into your own. Ah. In the name of Jesus, ah, yeah, I declare yeah, yeah. that we have come to Hebron. Ah, yeah, Jesus we have come to Hebron. In the name of Jesus. We have come to Hebron. In the name of Jesus. Am I talking to somebody? We have come to Hebron. In the name of Jesus. We have come to Hebron. We broke loose from every lock. We broke loose from every competition. We broke loose from every litigation. You broke loose from every controversy. In the name of Jesus. And now your feet are at Hebron. Go from your chair. Place your feet upon the ground and say, I am at Hebron. Hallelujah. So, look at the way you are saying, let's close and go home. I said, jump, sit down again, sit down again. When I ask you to jump, I'm expecting you, you are climbing. That's why I'm asking you to jump. It's not that I delight for you to jump because you need athletic help. No. And you need to slim down. No. But I am saying something that even as you jump up, you are climbing. As you jump up your mountain, as you jump, you are climbing. Amen. As you jump, you are ascending. Right. As you jump, you are rising. That's why I'm asking you to jump. So I'm not asking you to do it for uh, decorative purposes. I want to punish you. I'm not a PE master. I'm a pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. So I came to tell you that, listen, you have come to the place of Hebron, the place of covenant, where God removes you from controversy, where you move far away from controversy. In the name of Jesus, this year, the warfare is over. Amen. The, the controversy is over. Amen. The questions are over. Amen. The litigation is over. Amen. Some lotish anointing has left you. Some lotish fellowship has, has left you. And Jesus. you have come to Hebron. Ah. God is establishing you Amen. at the place called Hebron. In the, in the name of Jesus, of Jesus come hey. from your chair and say, I'm at Hebron. I'm at Hebron. Hallelujah. Amen.
just leave the altar there for a moment. But I want to give you some things about Hebron. Hebron was the place where Sarah died. Sarah is your wife. Sarah is a good person. But there are some places where God is taking you. You can't take Sarah along. I'm not saying go and divorce her. No. Sarah is the one who is pregnant with promise. But full of unbelief. Sarah is the person who has made herself pregnant with cynicism. So that when God makes a promise, Sarah laughs. And she didn't even laugh. It's not laughter like that. She said, hey, well, look at those people. Look at what they're saying. And Sarah said, they don't even know the truth about me. And they don't know the truth about Abraham. I am old. Abraham is worse. I always say, when your wife begins to, to, to explain the, 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 the low performance that you have and begins to laugh, there are certain laughter. If you say, oh, tonight I bless you and your wife to go and have fun. Then the wife will say, have fun, this man. If I stand in my woman, tell the person, don't, don't make a mistake. And if you're a woman, say, I repent. Sarah said to, Sarah, look, and she had the guts to lie to God and she didn't even bat an eyelid. And I'm very, very worried that God doesn't even question Sarah. And say, why, you, I know you laugh. Why are you lying? And thunder, lightning, strike her. No. Sarah is so cantankerous that she can fight everybody. Even when she's wrong, God will say, Abraham, your wife is right. Let Ada go. But I came to say that Hebron was a place. Now, if you're reading the Bible carefully, there was a time when Sarah died. And when Sarah died, Sarah died, Abraham was not with Sarah. Abraham was not with Sarah. Abraham was at a place called Kedgatharim. And that place is Hebron. It is in Hebron. And please be seated. You know, Abraham was not with Sarah when she died. Abraham was at another place because the Bible says, and Abraham came to Hebron to bury Sarah. So where was he when Sarah was sick? Where was he when Sarah was dying? Where was he when Sarah was around? I know pastors and men of God have used this for divorce. You need to be very careful. You can't just go. Let them die first. Hey, I didn't say that. I'm just joking. I know that people have used this theology to say that then you can leave your wife. You can't. All right. But there are three reasons why you can't. I'm not going to go into divorce. We divorce, number one, because of uh, adultery. We divorce because of the hardness of people's heart. When people are intransigent, they remain in stiff positions. And we divorce because uh, of when life is threatened. So there are three things. Abusive relationship, get out of it. Don't stay in it. Don't say he will change. He won't change. Leave him alone. Otherwise, you break your head, you die. So leave him. He's a foolish man. Or leave her. He's a foolish man. There's a woman like that. The woman could think cautious. They can fight everything. Even if an aunt is coming, they fight the aunt. That's somebody who fool fighters in the house of the Lord. But but guess what? Now, uh, when, Abraham, when Sarah died, Abraham was not there, and Abraham had to come there. Uh, can you please look at that this thing for me? I think I wrote it down, but I don't know. Genesis 23. Uh, Genesis 23 what? One. Right, okay, let's me read that place and let me turn. And Sarah was 107 and 20 years old. These were the years of the life of Sarah. And Sarah died in Kejataba. The same is Hebron in the land of Canaan and Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. So, and Abraham stood up from that, blah, 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 blah. So Abraham was not around and guess what? 
Sarah is the one who the promise has been made to. She's full. She's pregnant with promise. But she has doubt and she has unbelief. And, if, and she, is, she, she has the capacity to, or capacity to, to introduce strange things to Abraham. It was Sarah's idea that gave birth to Ishmael. Until today, we are still suffering because of Ishmael. Uh, out of Ishmael came the Ishmael. Boko Haram. Uh, ISIS. Um, Taliban. And, and and who else? Uh, and uh, Al Qaeda and suicide bombers, Ishmael. So Sarah has a probability or has a pot uh, 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 propensity of introducing strange things into Abraham. There's a promise of God. And God said, I will give Abraham a son. And then Sarah said, the thing is delaying. She hasn't got faith to wait. She hasn't got patience to wait. He can't even believe. So guess what? She introduced Ishmael into the equation of Abraham's life. And God has not no other option than to bless Ishmael too. Because Ishmael is a seed of Abraham. And God had told Abraham, I will bless your seed. Therefore, Ishmael has, uh, must of a necessity be blessed. And it was there in Hebron that God separated Abra Abraham and, and Sarah in the name of Jesus. Sometimes there are people you are working with who have the potential to introduce doubt and to introduce unbelief. And to introduce faithlessness into your life. But in the name of Jesus, as we have come to Hebron, there's a separation, there's a departure, there's a forever termination of that relationship and of that fellowship. Hey. In the name of Jesus, name thou has come to Hebron, yeah. the place of pattern, Jesus. the place of, 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 of transition, Amen. the place where something has to die ah. for you to be able Jesus. to fulfill Jesus. your destiny. Ah. In the name of Jesus, name I said we are have come to Hebron. Give a clap and say, we have come to Hebron. In the name of Jesus. Hebron was the place. Hebron was the place where faithlessness died. This year, today, marks the end of your journey of faithlessness. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Amen. This marks the end of your journey of faithlessness. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And there's something even more powerful than that. And I'll read it on to you, but let me just go through this one first. The Bible said, Hebron. Hebron is also a place where Abraham built an altar. And Abraham called the name of the Lord. Now, Hebron is a place where Caleb, in Joshua chapter 14, verse 13 to 14. Joshua chapter 13, verse 14. Uh, verse 13 to 14. Hebron was the place where Caleb said, nevertheless, the children of chapter 14, 13 to 14. Chapter 14. Chapter 14, 13 to 14. That is Hebron. Joshua blessed him and gave unto Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, Hebron, for an inheritance. Hebron was the place, the same place, where, I mean, Sarah, faithlessness dies. But guess what? Hebron is the same place that God gives to inheritance to men of valor and men of boldness and men of faith. And Joshua blessed him and gave unto Caleb. If you read the earlier verses, Caleb said, I am old. You and I are old. But do you remember that we, the two of us went out to spy the land and a promise was made unto me. I see a mountain and that mountain is full of giants. I am still old, but I am still believing God that I can take this mountain. And the Bible said Joshua gave to, um, to, to Caleb. Am I not really? Uh, 13 to 14. And Joshua blessed him and gave unto Caleb the, this thing. The, the, let, read the 14. And, oh. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of, uh, of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, unto this day, because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. Can I tell you something? On Hebron were, were, were giants. Hebron was a mountain. But Caleb said, give me this mountain. And God gave, and Joshua gave Hebron as a, as a, this is a covenant promise to, to, um, to, to Caleb. In the name of Jesus. The strongholds that everybody is afraid of. Ah. The difficult places that everybody is afraid of. You have come to that place. Amen. You possess it. God is giving you that place. Amen. The Jesus. place where it is difficult. 
Ah. Where nobody can go. Hey. Nobody else has gone hey. in your family. Nobody else has been able to hey. read. Hey, I can sense it. Ah. In the name of Jesus, name of God Jesus. is giving you that place. Ah. Give me this mountain. Take this mountain. We are taking Hebron. We are taking, we are taking Hebron. He said, give me that mountain. I can deal with the giants. I can deal with the Anakins. I can deal with the Anakins. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Raise your right hand. I say, we take the mountain. We take the mountain. And open a prayer. And take it. Where none of your family has ever been to. Where nobody, where nobody, where nobody, I said, where nobody in your family has ever been to, that difficult place has been given to you. That difficult place has been given to you. Open your mouth and pray right now. I just said something. I just said something. That is a blessing. I said the testimony you are going to have, nobody in your family has ever had that testimony. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So when I ask you to pray into it, I'm not asking you to punish you. I'm asking you to get the testimony that nobody else in your family, nobody else in Israel was ready to take the mountain. But Caleb said, give me this mountain. And the mountain was given to him. Come on, lift up the voice and pray right Take this mountain. 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 We take this mountain. We take this mountain. We dispossess. We dispossess the anarchists. We dispossess the giants. We dispossess. Can we, can we go to the earlier verses? There's something I want to, I want to bring to you. The earlier verses in, in ch chapter 14. Where Caleb said, I am old. Can you get in? Caleb said, I am old. Let's read it. Verse 6. Or, or, go to that place. There's something over there. My thing is acting up. And the children of Judah came unto Joshua and Gilgal. And Caleb, the son of Jephthah, Kenneth, I said unto him, How knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses? Do you know what God said? That is, God made a promise unto Moses, the man of God, concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea. Guess what? Caleb was not saying he was a man of God. Caleb did not say he was a man of God. But he said, God spoke a word by the man of God. I thank God that God is also speaking a word by the man of God. Now let's read on to this. Forty years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land. And I brought him word again as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt. But I wholly followed the Lord my God. Now read on. Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance and thy children's forever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. Let's all read it together. And now, behold, the Lord hath kept me alive. As he said, these forty and five years. So he was forty years old when the promise was made. And now he was eighty-five. 
He was 85. Ever since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, all the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day four score and five years. That is, I am 20 times four and five years. So I'm now 85 years old. And look at what he's saying. And yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength then, even so, is my strength now. For what? But to go out and to come in. That means I still have the capacity to win uh, victories. Hey. I still, uh, how, who is here who has the capacity to win victories? Ah. Now, hey. do you know what uh, Caleb was saying? I have waited for 45 years for the promise to come to pass. But you know what? Now, the delay is over. Amen. He said, now the delay is Amen. over. The thing that you have been waiting for, the thing that you have been believing God for, the thing that you are praying to God for. Am I talking to somebody? Your husband is coming. Your children are coming. Your finances are coming. Your, your education is coming through. The thing that you are waiting for, in the name of Jesus, he said, give me this mountain. Give me this mountain. His mountain shall be removed. We terminate delay. We terminate delay. Am I talking to somebody? This we are finishing the building. This Read on. There's something I want us to do before I sit down. But we have come to Hebron. 45 years I have waited. But then he said, I'm not going to wait anymore. It is my inheritance. I am coming into my inheritance. Amen. No more wait, no more delay. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see people with the mask upon their faces and it is written delay. But I see an angel of the Lord ripping off the Jesus. mask. In the name of Jesus. That is why when you go to people, they tell you wait. 
and they tell you wait, ah. and they won't mind you, ah. and then they seem to forget you. Ah. When they make promises, they forget. Ah. You see, there is a mask that you are wearing, and that mask is called delay. But tonight, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. I see an angel of the Lord ripping off in that mask. No more delay. No more delay. I said, no more delay. No more delay. The mask is off. The warrior is coming out. The mask is off. The warrior is coming out. I see people wearing chains. And the chains say delay. But the chains are being ripped off. And the chains are being ripped off. And now is the time. I see chariots that are ready. I see horses that are prancing. And the horsemen are being invited to ride. In the name of Jesus. Divine speed. Divine speed. Divine speed. Divine speed. Divine speed. No more delay. Let's read on. We will deal with the last one and then I'll go and sit down to continue. And Joshua blessed him. Gave unto Caleb. The son of the. Is that where we have reached now? Is that the verse we have reached? After reading it, that's where we have reached. Okay. The son of Jephunneh Hebron for inheritance. Read it. Go on. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite, until this day. Because that he only followed the Lord God of Israel. You know, I want to tell you this. Now the name of Hebron before was Kejathaba. Which Abba was a great man among the Anakims. And the land had rest from war. Bible says, listen, the Anakims were there. The Anakims were terrible people. And they were warrior people. They were people who fight. And there were people who were there to fight the promise of God concerning Israel's life. But when Caleb stepped there, when Caleb stepped there, he changed the destiny of Israel forever. And the Bible said, and the land had rest from war. In the name of Jesus, we are possessing, we are in Hebron. We are dispossessing the Anakims. All the, all the warriors, all the warfare, and everything, the enemy, all the missiles, and every missile, and every bomb, and every suicide bomber, and everybody that God has sent to give us trouble. In the name of Jesus, we dispossess them. And now we have come to the place of establishment. We have come to the place of establishment. Lift up your voice. Dispossess every principality and every power and every root and every spiritual wickedness and hopelessness. Dispossess them. If you like. Look. You don't fool anybody. Me, I'm dealing with my anarchies. You stay there and then pretend that you are praying. Because you are wearing masks, I can't see your mouth. You are doing this. You are doing this. You are doing this. You think that I don't see you. You understand? So you can do this like a gamma lizard. You can even do this and delay it a little bit. Hey, delay is ending. The spiritual weekend, the battle says, hey. bless them not against flesh and blood, but against principalities ah. and powers, ah. and against rulers, ah. and, and spiritual wickedness ah. in high places. Ah. Hey. Your eyes must be red. Jesus. Your eyes must be red. Ah. Somebody has been delaying. Hey. Somebody has been causing hey. delay. Hey. Somebody has been bringing warfare. Hey. The war is over. Hey. Please possess them hey. to open your mouth hey. and pray. Hey. Let's shut the cup of 
Some warfares that must never repeat themselves. In the name of Jesus. I said there are some warfares that must never repeat themselves. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. There are some battles that must never repeat themselves. Never. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Other cities can have their battle. But where you are now, there are some battles that will never repeat Amen. themselves. No more, no more. It has been too long. 45 years. There's somebody. Uh, uh, how do you say you are growing old? Who are you? 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 There is a promise of God that is for you. You don't have to grow old. It has to end all. It has to end though. In the name of Jesus. And there are some warfare. You don't have to fight that war again. I can give you a testimony. But I can't say it because of some issues. There are some battles I have fought. And I fought them when I was at the University of Science and Technology. Then all of a sudden. Listen. My daughter. 
First of all, my son, John, faced the same warfare. I said to God, hey, I have fought this thing already. It shouldn't be repeated. Then my daughter, Metabel, had the same fight. I said, hey, I have fought this fight. It should not be repeated again. Then I remember Pastor Pajo's uh, daughter, mother, also had the same fight. And I said, hey, we have fought this battle already. It will never happen again. In the name of Jesus, the there are some Jesus. victories you won, you win, that they are permanent victories. Ah, yeah. It is not go come. Yeah. It is not go come. Yeah. It is established. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, thou shalt have rest. Amen. In Hebron, Amen. lift up a shout and say, we have come to rest. We have come to rest. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. We are going to declare rest. We are going to declare rest. The one who took the fire. She will fall. Lift up your voice and pray right now. You are declaring this war is over. This war it will not repeat itself. It will not repeat itself. There will be no repetition. There will be no repetition. There will be no go count. There will be no go count. There will be no repetition. 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 It will not repeat itself. 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 The sure victory of the Lord. 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 Rest. 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 The war is over. Come on, lift it up. Declare. 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 Where some of you are praying, I can see you are hungry. Don't worry, just lift up your hands. Let's just worship. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is 
Don't clap as if those hands are not yours. Oh, 
If you didn't borrow those hands, then put it together better. Turn to somebody and tell the person, what a night. What a night. We have come to Hebron. Amen. We have come to the land of establishment. Oh, we will see the fullness of the Lord in this land of establishment. Hallelujah. We are continuing tomorrow. Don't forget. Please be here on time. Let's pray our way through. One week is almost gone. That's how it starts. By the time you realize, it's gone. So those of us who are hiding behind certain things that the doctors have not said, and we are, and we are navigating the corridors of some cocos and watch it, be careful. By the time you realize the days are gone and you haven't fasted, whatever investment you put in your prayer bank, when you need it most, you can go and always cash it out. But if you go and the bank is empty, and you go cashing it out, the ATM will seize your ATM card because you are a thief. So please make sure you invest something in your prayer bank because there will come a time you will not be able to lift up a voice to pray because maybe your back is against the wall. That prayer that you've laid in store for this year will speak for you when that time comes. Rise up. Let's bring our offering quickly. Let's continue with the song. Mighty warrior, great in battle. Let's bring our offering quickly. Jehovah is. Let's bring our offering quickly. Your name. Father, we sanctify this offering in the name of Jesus. Jehovah is. Your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah your name. Jehovah is your name. coming for his change so, so I told the person we, we will talk about it <laughs> when when you put the money inside but I think he was joking when you put the money inside it's for God so don't say you are coming for your change be careful be careful shall we rise up and bring the service to a close <laughs> be, be, be very very careful be very very be very very careful okay we are a people-oriented church, passionate about God's word, pursuing his glory, and persuading others to do the same.
church tomorrow, 6 o'clock, be here. We'll start prayer immediately when you come. See you all.